this uh, question. This is uh, the question is ample on elevation and the uh, and the pressure, but this is uh, an elevation. So, so you fall. Here you have the boy stand at the point A on the horizontal level at the foot T of a particle building. You observe an object on the top P of the building at an angle of elevation of 66 degree. You move directly backward to a new point C and observe the same object at an angle of elevation of 80. If this uh, equal to this, so illustrate the information in the diagram. Calculate the height of the building to one decimal point and find the length of NC. Now look at this. Very simple question. So if you want to just be simple to interpret, let me put this one here. So what happened is Let's say you have the building here. This is the building. Your building. Then, uh, you see that a boy is standing here. You see, the boy stands at the point N. If this is point N, where the boy is standing, on the horizontal level, at the foot, uh -huh, at the foot of uh, of T of a particle building. Here you have the T. This is the foot of the particle building. And the boy is standing here. And he observes an object on the top. This is the top. This is the object here. On the top of the building. At an angle of elevation of what? 66. So, so you have it like this. So that's it. At this angle, this is 66 degree. And the boy move backward, directly backward. That is, he move like this. And to a new point C. This is a new point C. And observe the same object at an angle of elevation of 53. So you have another here. So here is 53. Then, uh, if NT, this is NT, 50 meter, illustrate the information in the diagram. So, you got it the mark now. So, this is it. Here you have right angle triangle. Then you have to calculate the height of the building. So this is the height of the building. This is the height of the building. Then what are you going to use? It's over to her. So what is it? Opposite and adjacent. So what you are going to do? Say this, let's call this one the top of the building. That is T. That's top of the building. This one is T. Uh, let's call this place P. Uh, you have that, okay, the top is P. Okay, you seated it, the top P. Now, look. So, what do you have now? To calculate the height of the building. So, you have tan theta. Say tan 66. The angle opposite over adjacent. H over 50. So, simply cross multiply. The height of the building is 50 times 66 degree. H equal to what? So, that is 50 times what? That's 66. That's 2.2460. Then H equal to 
multiply by 50. So we go to 1, 1, 2, point 3. We have to calculate one decimal place. That's point 0.3 meter. So you are true. Very simple. Then you have to find the length of MC here. You have to find the length of MC. So you have seen this one. So now, if you want to calculate this, you are still, it's still the same thing. So what you are going to do now is that it's still the same time. So here, just consider, say, consider triangle. P C T. So P C T everything. So where you have this here is three and here is H and your H is one one two point three meter. Why here is what? Look here from here to here M C so you, you call this one x x plus 50 so that's that's that 50 meter so this is what you're going to consider then here you will have again tan theta here is going to be 53 degree equal to opposite over adjacent 112.3 over x plus 50 so that's it from here to here call it x so this over this everything so if you cross multiply you will have uh, 112.3 equal to tan 53 into bracket x plus 50 so you have 112.3 equal to x times 53 plus times uh, 50 times times 53 degree. So you have 112.3 equal to, so you have Uh, X tan okay mm. tan fifty three does a tan five three does one point three two seven zero X plus fifty times one point three two seven zero so here you have 1123 equal to uh, 1123 equal to 1.3270 x so plus 2 you multiply that by times 50 so here you have 66.25 then you collect light time so you will have one point three two seven x equal to one one two point three minus sixty six point three five. So you have this two seven x equal to so you minus so minus one one two point eight. So this one will give you forty five point nine five. So, so we have x now equal to when you divide both sides by one point. So your answer is is what? So you have four five. 0.97 divided by 1.327 so you will have 
that's 34.6 meter. So that is the length of MC. So uh, you can see that MC is equal to 34.6 meter. That is it. Thanks for watching.